We've, we've, we've marked the angles on from the template we've, we took from site. The next step is to mark on the depth of the tenons and the angle, cut the angles and cut to size so that we can test that it's in the right angle is the same as the template. Then what we'll do is we'll fit it all together and from there we'll make a new king post for the top. We'll mark it on so we've got a nice, nice clean joint. I'm going to mark the depth of the tenon and then I'm going to transfer it to the tie, the tie beam that runs along the bottom. From my, the tenon on the bottom of the principal rafter will fit so that the both sides are flush. So I'm going to mark the depth of the timber and that is going to be my mortise. So when I take that out, the shoulder and this will line up flush. Yeah. So this is my key to chain mortiser. Basically it's a chainsaw that cuts straight down into the timber to make a, a mortise which is, ve is very useful working with big timber products as the other mortiser in the workshop is only small. This beam weighs almost 400 kilograms and there's no way we're picking that up to move it along to, to mortise it out. So this machine comes in perfectly. I've set the depth so when this part here, when it hits that, the stop here, that's when that's when I know I've reached the de required depth that I've set it to. Yeah, there's a little bit left, but we've got to get the chisel in anyway because if you look at the the bottom of the, the chain mortiser, it doesn't leave a nice flat bottom like our bench mortiser does. So there's nice, nice rounded points in the bottom, which we'll need taken out with a chisel. This will be my shoulder. So that'll be the shoulder that sit, and then my tenon will run down here. And this tenon will, will fit into the mortise that we've just, just used, just mortise with a chain mortiser. So this morning we have face and edged and sized this piece of timber ready to make it into our new king post. Now that I've finished mortising the king post I'm going to taper it so it matches the existing king posts. This, this is a king post now tapered and finished. So today we've been uh, fitting in the king post. So we've had to, we've had to have this up and down a couple of times. It's quite big and heavy. So the next steps are marking out, cutting the struts that also support the principal rafters. So to do these, we're going to have to make a mortise and tenon joints into the tie beam and the principal rafters, and that involves lifting this back up again and fitting it back in. Sit, go. Yeah, go on, push. We just got to mark out the holes and then we move we move the pegs in slightly so when well the holes on the inside slightly so when the the peg goes in it will pull the joint up nice and tight <laughs> 